How to configure adaptive anomaly control. The adaptive anomaly control component appeared in Kaspersky Endpoint Security version 11.1. It includes a set of most popular activity patterns characteristic of malware, behavior that may indicate attempts to compromise the system. Let us explain through examples how adaptive anomaly control works and how to configure it via the policy in Kaspersky Security Center. Let us open the policy of Kaspersky Endpoint Security 11 and switch to the adaptive anomaly control settings. The component is enabled by default, but requires an advanced or higher license. Also, you can install this component only on workstations. Adaptive Anomaly Control includes a pre-configured set of rules that can be updated together with the antivirus databases. You cannot create custom rules. The first time you open the policy settings, you can see the Approve Updates message, and each rule will be marked as new. First of all, click Approve Updates to confirm the updates. If a rule gets updated or a new rule is added, the update approval message will appear again to draw the administrator's attention. All rules work in the smart mode by default. The smart mode is tightly related to Kaspersky Security Center and the administrator's actions. The component learns for approximately two weeks after the installation. During this time, nothing is blocked, but information about matched rules is sent to Kaspersky Security Center, and it is the administrator, not the component, who makes the decision whether a specific activity is normal for a computer. Let's see how different modes work through the example of the following rules. Start of Microsoft PowerShell from Office Application, Block. PowerShell script executes unknown dynamic code, Smart. System file in a non-system folder, smart. Untrusted application with a system-like name, notify. Let us wait for the policy to apply. Switch to Tom laptop. Let's run a few samples. First, we will open an office document with a macro that tries to start PowerShell. You can see that Adaptive Anomaly Control blocks the attempt. Then we will run a few more samples for the following rules. Untrusted application with a system-like name. System file in a non-system folder. They started, but the Adaptive Anomaly Control has not reacted since the rules are in the Notify and Smart modes respectively. In the notify mode, an event is sent to Kaspersky Security Center, but the user is not warned. Now, let us open PowerShell and run a script that matches the rule. PowerShell script executes unknown dynamic code. We can see that the script has been executed successfully because the rule is in the smart mode. Let us get back to the Security Center computer. Open the Events tab, run the Recent Events selection and consult the latest events. You can see a block event that popped up and an informational event that was not shown to the user, it was sent to Kaspersky Security Center instead. Now let's see what happened to those events for which the smart mode was selected. When rules are triggered in the smart mode, the respective event is sent to Security Center and is stored in the container, triggering of rules in smart training mode. The administrator's task is to process them. Let us open the properties of the event, system file in a non-system folder. Suppose the administrator agrees that this activity is abnormal and such actions should be prevented, processes the event, and clicks confirm. After the training completes and the rule switches to the block mode, this type of activity will be blocked. Next, we are opening the properties of the event. PowerShell script executes unknown dynamic code. Let us assume that the administrator thinks that this activity is acceptable for the ABC Tom user and adds this information to exceptions to prevent the component from reacting to similar actions in future. Click Add to Exclusions and select which policy to add the exception to. Open the policy of Kaspersky Endpoint Security 11 and switch to the Adaptive Anomaly Control settings. Let us switch the rule, PowerShell script executes unknown dynamic code, to the block mode. 
let us wait for the policy to apply. Switch to Tom laptop. Let us try and start the PowerShell script once again. You can see that the script has executed successfully because we added an exception to the blocking rule. Let us log on to the system as ABC Alex. Let's run the same PowerShell script once again. You can see that the script has been prohibited this time because the exception is not applicable to the ABC Alex account. Let us get back to the Security Center computer. Open the Events tab, run the Recent Events selection and consult the latest events. You can see that there is a block event and the description indicates that the activity was performed by the ABC Alex user. Let us add this activity to exclusions as well, you can do it right from the shortcut menu of the event. Let us open the policy of Kaspersky Endpoint Security 11 and check how exclusions are displayed in the Adaptive Anomaly Control settings. To save time searching for Adaptive Anomaly Control events among an enormous amount of others, we recommend that you create a dedicated selection for events that pertain to Adaptive Anomaly Control. Adaptive Anomaly Control has two reports. The Adaptive Anomaly Control report shows which rules have been matched and in which mode. For each rule, you can see detailed information on executable files that were launched, on which computers that happened, and under which accounts. Report on Adaptive Anomaly Control rules state shows the overall status of rules on the client computers. If you scroll down the report, you can see detailed information about each computer, including the training progress percentage. 